WinTotal can be downloaded and installed right from the web. Open your browser and go to alamode.com. Click on My Account and log in with your Alamode username and password. If you have an Excite, this is the same username and password. If you don't know your login information, call us at 1-800-ALAMODE and we'll send it to you. Click My Downloads and download the install file to your desktop. You'll need your authorization code in a moment, so leave this window open. After the file downloads, go to your desktop and double-click the file. Your installation files are unpacked, and the installation begins by installing Microsoft SQL or SQL which is the database format that WinTotal uses to store your settings and contacts. Once SQL is installed, the WinTotal Aurora Wizard starts. Read and agree to the end user license agreement and install to the default directory. When it's done installing, click Finish. You can now delete the install file and leave the program icon with the house on your desktop. You can use this shortcut to open WinTotal. When you open WinTotal for the first time, you'll need to register the program to yourself using the exact company name and authorization code from your account, which we saw earlier. Next, configure the Internet Setup Wizard. Unless you have a dial-up Internet connection, you'll choose an Always On connection. Test the connection and click Finish. Next, add a user. Fill out your name and add a password to prevent someone from signing a report with your user. Don't worry about the digital signature itself right now. We'll come back and set that up in a minute. Click OK, and since I'm the only appraiser in my office that will use this computer, I'll check the box to bypass this screen each time I open the program. When the program opens, Set up your company's office information in WinTotal. Click Options, Change Office Settings. Fill out your company's info, including address, as this information on this screen will be used to populate your automatic invoices and any driving directions. Click to get the latitude and longitude for your office, and then save your changes. The next step is to set up your appraiser contact for the office first and then yourself and any employees. Your appraiser contact record, selected from a pull down in the order power view, is used to populate everything from the signature section at the bottom of page 6 to the billing power view. From the appraisal desktop, click the contacts power view. Click new, make sure a company is selected and check the box for appraiser. Fill out your company information including at least name and address. Next, add yourself as an employee. Click add in the window at the bottom. Fill out your own information including email address, phone, and any license information. Click OK to save your contact. Repeat this process for every appraiser in your office. Notice that in the Contacts Power View that you can expand any company contact to view all the associated individual contacts, 
it might be worth it to spend a little time up front setting up your main clients here in the Contacts Power View. It pays off in time savings as you do your reports, as you simply select your contacts from the pull-downs when you fill out the orders information when you start your reports. Any contact information you type into here won't need to be typed again into a report. Next, let's set up our digital signature. Start by signing a white sheet of paper and scan it into your computer, preferably at a resolution of 300 dpi. You'll want to crop the extra white space from around the signature. If your scanning software doesn't do this for you, you can use Paint to do it yourself. Open the image in Paint, Select the rectangular area, then crop, and save the image. To configure your graphical signature for your user, click Options, Configure Win Total Settings. Click User Management select yourself and click edit click browse to find and add your digital signature move it around to place it and save your changes if you're a new user to WinTotal check out our video on how to set up and use template reports the link is below